Overlay regions are areas at the top or bottom of the screen that contain content that scrolls across it, much like a stock ticker. Uh, these regions can contain text, date and time information, current weather if used with one of our op optional hardware weather stations, and also uh, current news and weather forecasts with our subscription data feed packages. Overlay regions are considered global to the entire project, meaning that they're treated independently from the page content. Uh, to access overlay regions, simply click on the Project Properties button and select the Overlay Region tab. Up to four regions can be enabled. We have T1 and T2, Top 1 and Top 2 will of course appear at the top of the screen. B1 and B2, Bottom 1 and Bottom 2 will appear at the bottom if enabled. Now regions are displayed on top of everything else during playback, so I strongly recommend that you decide which regions to enable and where they're going to be positioned and how large they're going to be before you create all of your page content. If you don't, you may find that when you turn on a region after the fact, it might obscure some text on certain pages. Then you'll have to go in and make edits, moving text around so that they're uh, out from behind the regions that you've turned on. If you turn on the regions first, you'll avoid all of that mess. So we can simply select a region and then click on the enabled box to turn it on. So this one is already enabled. You can select an appropriate speed. I'd suggest starting with medium and seeing how that works for you. And then you can also change the height of the region as well. So um, I brought up this page to uh, serve as a representative example behind the properties dialog here. So if I were to change this height, it has a height setting of 40 right now. If I change that to 60 and click on the apply button, watch the region T1 text here. You can see it will grow um, according to the, the new height setting right there. It's probably a little too large. I'm going to set that back to 40. But having a, a page up uh, to kind of monitor your changes as you go along just with using the apply button here in the project properties dialog is a good way to speed up the uh, process of, of getting these regions turned on and, and set to your liking. You can also click on the font appearance button to change the font that's used for the text in the region. Um, all kinds of font properties, colors, etc. And then you also on the background tab have attributes for the background for the region. Right, it's not, right now it's just set to transparent, so this region as you can see does not really have a defined background. We could change that to a ramp from uh, one color to another, apply that, and you can see those changes get reflected behind. So as we add content to an overlay region, it's going to appear in the bottom portion of the overlay region tab down here as a list. This represents a playlist rotation for this specific region, for T1, um, kind of like how pages play in their own rotation. In this example, we have a welcome message that's followed by a date and time message, followed by a different welcome message, followed by date and time once again, and then the list will start back over with item one. All of these can be individually scheduled as well, just like we showed in the scheduling series of videos. And so now the next couple of videos will talk about the different types of content that we can use in these overlay regions.